is Jasmine and this is Fredo. He is a magnificent green tree frog or a splendid green tree frog. He's found in the northwestern parts of WA and Northern Territory in the Kimberley region mostly. So these guys are an amphibian. Now that's distinguished as an animal that has gills in its larva stage and then later develops lungs. So as a tadpole they've got gills and later as a frog they develop lungs so they're breathing. Like all other frogs, he's got these suction cap feet that he can hold onto things with, which is pretty cool. He also eats all sorts of insects, worms and spiders and he swallows them whole. So one really cool thing about frogs is that when they swallow them whole, they actually use their eyeballs. So they don't have sockets like us, they push their eyeballs down their throat and that's how they swallow things. And they've also got really really long legs so this helps them with their jumping obviously these guys are renowned for their olive green color and their little yellow legs as well that's what makes them a magnificent green tree frog and most of the time they've also got little white spots on them but this fella he doesn't have many so you can see he's got massive eyes and they're really sensitive to movement so when he sees insects he's straight onto them and you can see these little sacks on his head they actually are poison glands so they're not poisonous to us but they deter birds from eating them because it makes them really sick now it's really important with frogs that if you do touch them that you have really wet hands because if your hands are dry or have chemicals in them they drink through their skin so dry hands feel like acid to them and also if you have chemicals on your hands, it goes through their skin, it can kill them. So it's really important that if you see a frog, unless it needs to be touched, don't touch it. But this, this one, I've got really wet, clean hands, so we know he'll be all right. In mating season, these guys actually emit a, pher a pheromone from their body into the water surrounding them, and it attracts females to come and mate. And uh, these guys are doing okay. As far as we know, they're not threatened in the wild. But a major threat to them and their survival are cane toads. Cane toads are toxic at every part of their life cycle. So as eggs, as tadpoles, as frogs, and they eat pretty much everything that will fit into their mouth, including frogs. So they're a real threat for these guys in the wild.